Today's tutorial will focus on how to draw in scale using Procreate. I will share with you the templates that I developed because Procreate doesn't have a specific feature for this. I will show you how to import a PDF, draw to scale, and save to scale, which are critical for architects and interior designers. So welcome back. My name is Henry and I help architects save time, draw more confidently, and be more creative on the iPad. So here you're seeing my Procreate Gallery interface and I want to show you the templates that I developed first. And they're located in this stack called Scale Templates. So in here, what you'll see is a mix of Imperial and Metric templates. So for the Imperial units, I have it set for 8.5 all the way to 36 by 48. For Metric, I have it set for A0 to A3. Since I am in the US, I'm going to open up one of my Imperial units of 24 by 36 inch size. So when you load this in, you're first going to see this instruction, which we can turn off. And in the layers palette, under the scale folder, what you're going to see here are a number of layers with a different scale factor assigned to them. So right now, I have the quarter inch to a foot scale enabled. And this is going to show you the grid and also some text. So how this work is each of the squares in the grid is assigned a unit and that's one foot in length. So if you imagine each of the square is one foot. So if you just count three squares, that's three foot. And if it's half a square and that's six inches. So this is how you are able to count your length or width on a floor plan. Whenever you're loading a project, you'll have an idea which scale that you want to draw on and you can delete the rest because you probably don't need them. You only need one scale for your drawing, right? So this is how I use the scale templates when I try to load it in. And let's actually look at a floor plan project of something that I actually used in San Francisco. This is a example that I often use to demonstrate. You can see on the bottom left hand side, the paper size is 24 by 36 at a quarter inch scale. So if we take a look at our layers palette, you can see this quarter inch scale to a foot is enabled. When you are drawing, this grid is gently overlaid on the drawing. Actually, it's overlaid on a existing as built drawing. It is overlaid on this drawing. And this drawing is essentially a as built survey of the house. If you know each square is a foot in length, what you can first do is just to confirm that this is actually the case per the as built dimensions that we have on site. And when you're actually sketching on top, this is used as a way to count and to measure when you are drawing to scale. So now that I've kind of explained to you how this template work, I'm going to show you the process of how to bring in a PDF into your Procreate. And this actually involves going on the computer first. And there is a process that I want you to follow. So here we're looking at my computer. This is a as built drawing or survey of the house. And you can clearly see in the bottom right hand corner that this drawing is drawn on 24 by 36 inch paper size at a quarter inch scale. And now we need to bring in this PDF as a JPEG to work with the templates in Procreate. And I'm going to show you how to do this with Photoshop. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, minimize this and right click to open with Photoshop. So once Photoshop is open, there are two critical settings that you have to remember to do and get right in order for this process to work. In the preview panel, you can see there are four pages in the PDF and we're just going to import in this first page because that first page is the page with both the floor plans of the as built drawing. So the two settings I want you to get right first is make sure that you're cropping to media box. And as a resolution, make sure you are saving as a 150 DPI as opposed to 300. And the reason why we want to reduce it from 300 to 150 DPI is you can tell from the width and height, the amount of pixel and image size is just really big. So if we reduce it to 150, 
it, that is going to make it easier for Procreate to work with. And for most of sketching purpose, this is absolutely fine. So go ahead and click OK. Now that we are in Photoshop, you can see this is brought in as a PNG background. So the background are going to be transparent when we save it. So now let's go ahead and save this file as a PNG format on our desktop. And we can then proceed to bring this in as a background to work in Procreate. So I'm going to save this on my desktop and I'm going to click save right here and click OK. So now that we have this file saved as a JPEG on our desktop, we need to then bring this into our iPad. Now there's a couple ways to do this. On my Mac, it's really easy just to airdrop it to my iPad. On the PC, you may want to bring it into like a cloud platform like Dropbox or Google Drive and get it from there. So here I'm just going to airdrop it to my iPad and you'll see it very shortly. So now we're back in Procreate and in the scale templates. I don't want to use my original template to use this file with. So what I can do is to either duplicate this as a new template or what I can do is if you have the templates, download it to your cloud, whether that Dropbox or Google Drive, both are fine. You can download these templates directly from there. So I have them for Imperial and Metric. If I wanted to grab the same Imperial templates uh, of 24 to 36 inch, what I'm going to do is just to import that into my gallery. And here we are inside this template, which I opened up by itself automatically. Now what you'll see is the same thing in the scale folder. You can check any of these settings to be turned on. And remember, given our imported JPEG or actually the PNG file was on 24 by 36 inch paper size at a quarter inch scale, we want to make sure that our scale factor matches that. And uh, let's go ahead and bring in that file. So I'm going to go to my action, insert the photo from my gallery. You'll see that first photo is the image that I brought in. So if you did everything correctly, when this background image is brought in, it's actually, I'm going to move this up to the top of my layer or actually to the very top. It should sit exactly in the right place with a skill factor that matches the template unit size for each grid. But what we want to do is just to find something that we can confirm. So I am in the bedroom of one of the rooms and this is indicating nine foot one. So nine foot one, we should be expecting about nine squares because if each square is a foot long, then there should be nine squares from this wall to that wall. So I'm going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And because this square didn't start exactly at the wall, I know I loaded in this template correctly because that is exactly nine square. So from here, this is when you can really just get into sketching. If you are finding this tutorial helpful, please like the video or subscribe because it's so helpful for me. It seriously makes the biggest difference to support this channel. Just to remember when after you brought in this template, you want to make sure just to verify these dimensions will match the actual plan sizes. And once that's done, you can get to drawing. So let's go back to this floor plan again and we can take a look at this sort of a floor plan structure. So at the base of the drawing is this as built template and then we brought in our template which is located at the bottom which we can turn on and off. So if at the end of the drawing you don't want to see this template and the grid, you can simply just turn that off. Above this as built template, you can see I have a pen layer and this includes all the different kind of layers that I have going on in this floor plan and which I'm not going to get into in this video. So now we are at a point where if we're done with the drawing, sharing this couldn't be easier. There are a couple ways to share this and a couple of formats to share. One of the most common format is the PDF or JPEG. So if I'm sharing it as a PDF, what I want to do is choose the best quality and then same thing 
with my computer, I'm going to airdrop it to my MacBook. If you are not using a Mac, you could save it directly to your Dropbox. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my computer and this should go into my computer very shortly. Okay, now you're seeing my desktop again, which is a little small, I apologize. And this is the file that we just airdropped from Procreate. If I open this up in Adobe Acrobat, if we go to print, we can see in here, the document size is 36 by 24. So if you wanted to print it on the regular size, that will be printed at a quarter inch to a scale. If you wanted to say, link this document to a InDesign file, you could do that as well. We in office, we typically use 12 inch by 18 inch as our InDesign paper size for presentation. And if we just reduce the overall size by 50%, then this quarter inch PDF becomes a eight inch plan size in InDesign. And that is very helpful for the client to take home with them. Another way to verify that this is printed correctly to the right size PDF is you can also see on the paper size right here that is printed on 36 by 24 inch. And all this really just has to do with the templates that you started off with in the beginning. And we can go back and take a look at this template folder. We have templates all the way from eight by half by 11, 11 to 17, 12 by 18, 18 by 24, 24 by 36, and up to 36 by 48. And these template sizes are common paper sizes for printers or plotters to print in the US. So if you want to try out these templates, I have a link below where you can get a copy. I've used this template since 2017, and it's proven to work for residential projects of all sizes. So I hope you enjoy this tutorial. I'll see you next time.